All right, guys, let's get this party started. We got a little Colleen, not to be confused with Colleen, Ballinger situation. And apparently, according to Marky, it's incredibly disturbing. I think this has, well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this has something to do with Adam McIntyre. Uh, they've been they've been friends for a while or something, or they've known each other. I don't really know. I'm coming in a little dry. We just found out that uh, she sent some in. <laughs> we'll just get into it as the video starts. Let's just go. It's very very brief. But the Let's go. But that I don't think we've ever really covered on this channel, and if we have, it was very very brief. But the recent accusations yeah. that came out, as well as some accusations that came out a couple of years ago, are very very yeah. worrying to say the least. Boring. So today no, we are talking I'm about worried. Colleen Ballinger, also known as Miranda Sings. It's like it's Colleen, you silly goose. Come on, dude, get it right. Guys, this guy can't even say Colleen. Apparently, that's how you say it. I got yelled at for calling, saying it's Colleen. Um, you know, Colleen is uh, doing something with her friend, Trisha Pedabler. They have a podcast called, um, you know, I forget the name of the podcast specifically. But it's called something like, oh, yeah, Oversharing, which is that was the name of my podcast until Trisha appropriated and stole it, somebody's like, "Oh, you, Trisha probably doesn't even know who you are, bro." Listen, I, this is my this is my baby account. I'm a loser, nobody on here. Trisha knows who I am, though. All right, she's she knows, she knows. I think that she has a crush on me. Let's anyway. Let's go. One of the OG YouTubers on this platform, yeah, and to be too. fair, throughout the years of me like watching YouTube, I always thought that yeah. Miranda Sings or Colleen Ballinger was a very likable person. I didn't really know sure. anything about I them guess. too much, but you I was just aware that a lot of people liked her content. But things started getting a bit sketchy a couple of years ago when a YouTuber oh, called Adam McIntyre, who does like similar style content to me, actually posted a video talking about his experience with Colleen. Sissy it's this video here called Colleen Ballinger Stop Lying. It was posted three years ago, and oh, some of the accusations in this about, video dude. are very, very worrying. For example, he talked about working for free, the fact that Colleen would like, hey, hey I mean, uh, you know, that's your problem. Yeah, I mean, my understanding, so I, I got a, a limited knowledge on this, so, you know, you can criticize me if you want, but my understanding with the working free situation, um, more than anything else, was due to the fact I, that he was, like, young and ended up working for her for free, like, <laughs> I know, it's really profound. Yeah, it's not good, but I mean, I don't know what that means specifically. Maybe he was doing some editing work or something. It's so like normal for people to do that. Like you you could be like, "Oh, that's not good." It's not good. I mean, you should if you have the money, you should pay people, but I'm also not super, you know, I'm not really. I'm a, we're I'm okay. We're okay with that. You know, well, we're not okay with it, but like we'll survive it, you know. It's not that big of a deal. Can I like trauma dump <laughs> on him and like talk about her that's husband weird. And, like the situation that's going on there? We got well, that's weird, depending on how old he was. Yeah, that's weird. Bear in mind here, Adam's a man. What's the, <clears throat> what's the context of that? Like, what the trauma dumping was he doing? Shut up, phone. What does that mean, trauma dumping? <laughs> like, really horrible stuff? I guess I'd have to see that. Like, you really shouldn't be having this conversation. And then some absolute mental I'd stories of, like, Colleen that. sending, like, lingerie to, like, him and, like, other fans yeah, and whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. really yeah. grim. But the thing is, when Adam actually posted this original video, he was getting a lot of hate. You I mean know, my, my understanding was, like, when he, when she, he was young, she sent it as part of, like, some kind of, like, thing. I don't even know. This whole, from what I looked into, it was it wasn't like a random grab bag. I thought that's what it was. Apparently, and correct me if I'm wrong. It was like just a meme she did for her for her channel, which is just like I don't know how you could just uh, lol meme that sending underwear. Like, I don't really get it. I mean, maybe it probably was just a stupid joke, but like, what's the joke? It's like really stupid. Like, really, just a big old mistake that you're making there. Um, Colleen just seems like kind of a silly goose, uh, an idiot, really. Uh, how old is she compared to, to him? Colleen Ballinger, age. Um, she's 36. Adam Mac in tier age. Oh, we don't know. I don't know how old he is. Four, four. He's four years old. I think he's like 10 plus years younger than her, so... I mean, if we go on the video right now, the comments are turned off, and I can imagine that was to do with a lot of the hate. Because, like I said, Colleen Probably. was a very liked character here on YouTube, so people just came to her defense no matter what was said about her. And throughout the years since this, there's been a lot of people turning on her. I remember seeing a few Ooh, videos talking about her, like, charity fraud scams and stuff like that. I don't really know oh, too much damn. about it, so I'm not going to talk about that situation in particular. But what I did want to talk about Same is this though, video right? that was uploaded two days ago, and it's called Why I Left the Colleen Ballinger Fandom. And this is someone else who was also a fan of Colleen Ballinger and experienced Ooh, and well, some of these... That is why they labeled it that. Uh, <laughs> Colleen's kind of a... <laughs> Colleen's just kind of silly. What are you doing, girl? Like, well, how do you make these? These are weird mistakes to make. Then again, I made my fair share of mistakes. So it is what it is. Um, so, okay.
weird messages that Colin was sending group chats to other viewers, like Adam kind of mentioned, and actually comes to Adam's defense okay. to say, look, he wasn't lying all along, like a lot of people seem to believe. Okay. Now, the video starts off with Cody Rance talking about how she was just a massive fan of Colin Ballinger, and she was so excited oh, when she got noticed by her. I don't remember the exact place it was, but she did mention me at an event and called me Coda Rance, which is okay. wild that that happened. So this <laughs> so, is a sure. tweet I posted about it, and Corey liked it. So she started, like, noticing me more, and I was always What's the tweet? I posted about it, and... I am Asian, I am Latina, I am white, I am LA. Oh, I don't even, what is that? Is that like a meme that I'm not aware of? Is, is that a Colleen Ballinger banger? <laughs> What's the joke? I don't get it. Corey liked it. So she started like noticing me more. Cool. And I was all excited about being noticed. I think anybody would. Yeah, of course, a very normal reaction to have when someone you look up to sure. actually notices you. And as you saw there, she said that Corey liked it. Corey is actually one of Miranda's okay. best friends or was best friends. I don't know what their situation too, is yeah. now. But that's We're very important information though because Corey does come up in this story later. Now, as the video goes on, Cody Rance actually takes a lot of responsibility for some stuff that she believes she did wrong in the past. Like she made fan fictions okay. about real life people, which is obviously a very like intrusive thing. I don't Uh and that's that's typical weird kid thing. Yeah, that's typical. <laughs> That's typical woman behavior. Creating fan fictions. I love fan fictions. Um, I don't love fan fictions, but uh, it is true. I personally, like, I made a fan fiction about Carl from Up and the Bird. They fell in love, and they had little Carl bird babies. Uh, I used to write that as well when I was in high school. I, I, th I actually think people would believe me on that one. But I actually just watched Up the other day when my wife cried actual tears a grown man crying tears so so sad uh, i've never watched that movie in full i've always seen that opening uh, thing and it was always like a little sad to me but um not to get too cringe on you guys but ever since i fell in love what a, it's a devastating thought of lose of not being with my wife anymore horrible stuff terrible stuff um so you know i cried a few times uh i'm not i'm not i'm gonna admit it i'm okay with that it was a very emotionally provocative movie. So. I don't think anyone really likes the fact that people would like make fan fictions about yeah, them. Who cares? I guess a lot of people wouldn't like that. And Cody takes responsibility for that and talks about how like, that was something that she did when she was younger and regrets it now. And the Whatever. reason I bring that up is because I want to make it clear that this video doesn't really come across as just a hit piece at <laughs> Colleen. It kind of just talks about the full experience, even if it doesn't make Cody Rance look good herself. But as okay. the story progresses, it's clear to see that Colleen Ballinger would speak in a lot of like fan group chats a lot of the time with okay. people who were under like very young people and some of these messages were yeah i mean like i don't know what the implication here is you shouldn't really be doing that but at the same time it kind of just seems like colleen colon whatever was trying to stay in contact with her fans and probably enjoyed having fans look up to her and it probably wasn't anything like um, the the subtext here i don't think that i don't necessarily know if he's pushing it is this predatory being predatory i doubt it you know even with that sending that the, the i mean sending the kid that st stuff is such a weird thing to do but, you know, I doubt it was anything predatory. <clears throat> it's probably just really stupid. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but it's probably her staying in contact with fans and not understanding that she shouldn't really be messaging. Like, you have to be careful when it comes to talking to, like, young people. Just in general. Um, in a more direct way. It's just I feel like it's inappropriate. <clears throat> it doesn't make it like predatory inherently or anything like that. Obviously, there has to be a lot for that. She would have had to sit in the laundry and be like, hey, can you wear this? That would have been definitely a slight boundary crosser, guys. Just a little bit. But it comes down to her just being stupid. Um, how long ago was this? You know, because you could also give her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt by saying like, hey, this was at the beginning of the Internet. Um, and like, <clears throat> you know, the rules weren't established. Although, again, you probably never should have really talked too much to them. But. You know, I did like sub, it's like sub Saturday stuff, and a lot of people were the younger fans, but that was all like public or whatever. So I don't know. Either way, how long ago did this happen? Like, are we beating her over the head with the same stuff? But I guess it's because people didn't believe um, Adam or something, I guess. So that's why they're talking about it now. But okay. Were very inappropriate. <clears throat> now, when Adam was going to come out with his video talking about his personal. People are calling her a groomer. Yeah, that seems very disproportionate. That's a little silly greasery experience with Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger, she would actually reach out to some of these fans. One of these people was Cody Rance herself and was kind of trying to like manipulate them to kind of like defend her. As you can see here, there's a massive paragraph just kind of saying like, I wanted to reach out to you privately and in confidence and all this stuff and give it her side of the story, which she really shouldn't be doing to her fans at the end of the day. Like if she needs to defend herself, probably do it in a video or a tweet or just a statement. You don't yeah, need to sure. be DMing your fans this. And it True. becomes pretty clear that this just happens to be some damage control because when we actually see the messages and the proof against Colleen, it's very damaging. Here we have a screenshot of the fan group chat where Adam McIntyre, who was under fans the other day, like privately and in common. Want to reach out to you privately? Okay, so for some reason, 
And in confidence, let you know that what I'm saying. Uh, after he sent me the message, uh, last message that he has now made public, I responded to his message immediately, did not go as Tim, and then received a message from his mother through asking, excuse me, through his DMs, asking me to not to speak to him. I'm a good mom. I now realize I never, I shouldn't have never been communicating with him in the first place. However, he is lying about a lot and showing things out of context and will get major backlash if, if I were to expose that. But I'm trying my best to respect his family's wishes and protect him as a minor as best I can. <laughs> I, I, this, this is, wait, Colleen, you're an idiot. I'm sad. At, hey, wait, how old? Do we know how old Adam McIntyre is compared to this girl? Um, because I feel like that's super, that's super relevant. Um, Adam McIntyre, famous, but I have to know because she's 36, yeah? He's 20. There's no way that she's 16 years older than him. She, There's no way. If he was like 13, she'd be 29. There's no way that she's this dumb at 29 years old. Now you're beefing with a kid privately. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Why is she so stupid? She's a theater kid. Oh, that explains it. That explains it. She's a theater kid. No, all jokes aside, like, what is this? You, why, how, why, like, you already shouldn't have been engaging in, like, the weird, like, the parasocial. It's nothing predatory, but it's super, at least I don't think so, but it's super just dumb. And then you're like, I could, I could destroy this. I don't know how old, long ago this was, but, like, let's say he was, like, 13. I'll destroy this 13-year-old's life. Like, how long ago was this that you decided you want to destroy, <laughs> that you were like, I could, I could get so much backlash. Just respond to it publicly and like just hey this happened with a person you don't have to say who and like i made this mistake and then move on from it but instead you're in private dms like what's up with the cope is she just like uh why is she coping so hard in private this is embarrassing for her what a weirdo what are you doing what a silly goose confidence and all this stuff and give it her side of the story which she really shouldn't be doing to her fans at the end of the yeah, day like if she I needs to defend that. herself probably do it in a video or a tweet or just yeah. a statement you don't need to be dming your fans this and it becomes pretty clear that this just happens to be some damage control because when we actually see the messages and the proof against colleen it's very damaging. Here we have a screenshot of the fan group chat where Adam McIntyre, who was under at the time, is asking for like Q&A questions for one of his videos. And Colleen Ballinger says, Adam, you need questions for your Q&A. And then later goes on to say, are you a virgin? Which is a... Uh, <laughs> Colleen, you're so, you're and such Colleen a funny sussy says, Adam, you I love this. Please don't, um, Adam, do you need questions for your Q&A? I love you, Colleen. Well, how long ago is this? Uh, are you a virgin? Why would you ask that question? That's so weird. And you know what's really interesting is like I'm thinking that like if from Colleen, it's not like it's probably nothing really bad. But if it was a man, I would be all over that. I'd be like, mm, mm. you know what I mean? Because men are gross. But honestly, like I don't know. Like if, if you're thinking about it, like why why would you do? What what's the joke? <laughs> what are you doing? This is real. This is a lot worse than I thought. I thought people were like super overreacting. I still don't think that she's a fucking groomer, but dude, why would you even suggest that? Like, even like, did she know the age of these people? Why? That's not an appropriate question to even in general. Even if you do know the age of the person, like to to talk to your fans about, it's like fucking really dumb. Are you a virgin asking for a friend? LOL. Like, what are you doing? Why would you be this? Why are you this person? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Colon. <laughs> Uh, Colleen is a, is worse than Trisha Pinatus. Uh Vote in the chat right now. Vote inside the chat. Who's worse? The one who thought that chicken nugget was a gender, or the one asking kids if they're if they're virgins? Like, just weird. It's at, we're at a point where it's like I it's like I don't I again I don't know. I doubt that she's like a bad person, but it's like not even. This is like so weird. Like, why would you ask that question? What's going through your head? What would be the explanation for that one? Give me the give me the sussy explanation. Mm, I, well, you know, I was I thought it was a funny joke. Why? That's a very intimate thing for somebody to. Yeah, it's not hit me, bro. It's kind of fucked up, actually. No, we're friends, and you're beating me up. It just seems a little suspicious, like a character from the popular hit video game Amigos. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, question for your Q and A, and then later goes on to say, "Are you a virgin?" Which is a, a very odd question to ask someone who's underage. Now, I don't know the exact yeah. year this screenshot was taken, but it's worth mentioning that Colleen Ballinger is 36 years old currently, and this yeah. definitely wasn't 10 years ago, so she was in her late 20s at the very least, maybe in her 30s. I believe if I remember correctly, it was around about like 2017, 2018 time, so yeah, she was way oh. too old to be asking questions like this. So how old would he be at 2016? What's, what, he'd be young. 
I don't know. Underage people. But after this, Cody goes into detail. And she suggested, what's your favorite position? <laughs> oh, I bet the unemployment line, Colleen. That's my... <laughs> what are you doing? What is... She's just such a... Bro, there's like... Bro, it's. I think it's incredibly charitable to be like, this is just like next level of a... De- like, just completely incompetent. Like, that's... It's we're, we're next level of incompetency. That's so... That's a, what a charitable position for her. I'm telling you, man. That's wild. You, you, what are you doing? I mean, maybe I'm, I'm trying to be like, maybe that was just the kinds of questions you people thought were appropriate in 2016 or whatever, but holy fuck. What is wrong with you? What an idiot. Okay. Tales about how Miranda Sings was messaging her nonstop, saying like, "Oh, I don't feel like I've done anything wrong, and I'm really worried that I'm going to be exposed. I'm going to have to apologize and all this stuff." And then after these job. messages, Cody actually ended up making a video defending Colleen because she's a fan of Colleen. Colleen's came to her in Me confidence too. to talk yeah. about the situation. Cody Rance is probably just buzzing about the fact that one of the people that she looks up to is messaged her, so yeah. she's defending oh. her. Obviously, yeah. again, a clear example why you shouldn't be having this much of a close relationship with your viewers because there is a power dynamic there, especially when you're dealing with younger people. It seems like uh, Colleen sure. was kind of going out of a way to try and manipulate these people to defend her. And on top of just. I mean, maybe, or Colleen is just a really weird person. Uh, I don't know. Possibly. I don't want to assign too much, like, like intentionality to that. It's possible, though, I guess. But, I mean, if she's DMing them, it really doesn't... Either she, either she's trying to get them to make videos to help her out, or she's just so inappropriate in her relationships with people. Bro, stop hitting me, dude. This is really messed up. Um, I don't know. Saying, like, what oh, I'm scared to be exposed. Toad. She was sending, like, screen recordings of her private messages with Adam to other viewers, like, as if to kind of get them to Weirdo. turn Adam and make Adam look like a bad Ew, guy. Is that I mean, true? Like an yeah, yeah. what are you and doing, Colleen? You can see that Adam is talking to Colleen, saying, like, what you did was very inappropriate. I've uh, been told multiple by multiple people about how you and Corey have been run, uh, running, saying, I run a hate account for people who support you, which is extremely disappointing that your mind goes to that place i'm aware and so are my parents and everything every and have every oh my god screenshots of everything from the past few weeks that core has said about me and in relation to you about me in these group chats and also everything else before but never thought you'd stay to that level especially due to the 17 year age gap talk to me in 16 years if a 33 year old Takes advantage of Flynn for years when he runs. Like, oh, I can't believe I fucking waited just to, just to read this. <laughs> you want to play that game? Why do you even bother following me? He takes advantage of Flynn. What are you talking about? What does Flynn have to do with anything? How dare you? What is this fucking? Uh, what is this euphoria? What's happening here? Why is this so dramatic? Stop talking to stop talking to to, to fans like this, Colleen. What is wrong with you, <laughs> idiot? <laughs> what are you doing? It's because it's a 17 year gap. He even says, talk to me in 16 years. If a 33 year old takes advantage of Flynn, who I believe is Colleen's son, for years, then run shit talking about Damn. him on Twitter. You want to play that game? Why do you bother? Kind of like give it a comparison as to like, if this happened to your son, you wouldn't like it either, right? To which Colleen yeah, replies so. and just kind of takes like the moral high ground, I guess, and says, oh, so now you're bringing my son into it? You're clearly wrong. And then she Boy, you're bringing my son bad, into it, mate. He was just trying to use a comparison. But it is definitely worth noting again. Uh, he might have been trying to be passive aggressive. He might have been trying to be like a little bit of uh, a little bitchy, but like, he's every right to considering the situation. Like I would be just as uh, I would be just as catty. I'd be like, <laughs> if that's what he was doing. Like he's not even anything wrong with it. You don't have to be like, oh, I think he was just doing a comparison. Nah, he was throwing stuff. He was throwing some heavy shade at her, and she fucking deserves it, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's a little bit of a silly goose, a little bit of a sussy baka, if you ask me. Adam's underage here. I mean, he even yeah, says in his exact messages that I'm he's aware of the fact that minor. Colleen's been talking shit about him and his parents are. So if he's going to bring his parents up in this conversation, maybe you should think to yourself, oh, actually, you know what? I am talking to a child here. If I'm going to have this conversation, I should probably talk to his parents. Yeah. It's just a bit mind-blowing that yeah. a fully grown adult would go into, like, group chats with, like, younger people and then talk shit about another younger person. It's just a very, very weird look. I don't dumpster, know why you'd want bro, that. But speaking of parents, me. Adam's own mother actually comes into the conversation and leaves a message of her own, to which Colleen doesn't seem to reply to, which is very bizarre, because, like, what? So when you're arguing with a child, you'll reply and say a bunch of stuff to him, but as soon as an adult gets involved, you're not going to reply. How does that make sense? And this way we bring Corey into it, who was like uh, Colleen's like best friend or best friend at the time. Yet yeah, again, don't really know what their relationship is now. But even he was messaging viewers, just kind of like slagging off Adam or anyone else. Even what does that mean? Husband, two viewers who are young. It seems like they what does slagging like, off someone slag- mean? Uh, Vicar, I never had a friendship with him. Corey, it will save her. Oh, I don't blame you. He's fucking weird. No one DMing, nothing. The only time I said his name was wondering. Bro, this is so weird. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Even I mean, even back then, I don't get it. Are the only people who got famous on, like, these things, like, have some kind of an issue where they just don't understand how to be people? Like, does Colleen have, have, like, some kind of diagnosis or something? I don't get it. Uh, okay, relax. My wife's being... 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Um I just find it inappropriate. I think it's silly goose. Hanging off Adam or anyone else, even Colleen's own husband. Two viewers okay. who are young. It seems like they still believe they're in like their teenage gossip phase and like they're kind of reliving their childhood here as if they're around the fucking dinner table at school just like gossiping about people. And here's some more screenshots. Gossiping. This time from a Corey group chat by the way, which was called Corey's Clit for Whoa. some reason, where it seems Whoa, like Paul was posted into the group chat and then you've got Corey replying to it. And it's like, mate, why are you getting involved in this conversation? I mean, we've even got someone here leaving a message saying I'm almost 18. So it's like, why are you getting involved, mate? Same and thing. he was again in the same group chat, slagging off Colleen's husband and talking dude, about how, oh, mean, it's going to be hard dude. to kind of live with him during quarantine and all this stuff. And it's like, why are you gossiping with kids? I don't get it. And also the fact that this was in quarantine, I mean, that wasn't even that long ago. We're not talking about stuff that happened in like 2010 here. This is fairly recent. It seems that the situation he brought up here that made him want to slag off Colleen's husband was that what does he that said mean, that Eric slag off? Name, the husband. What the fuck does Slag off me, bro. I, I'm I'm American. I don't understand. Does that mean that sounds like having a wank? You know, I don't like I don't like that. What does it actually mean? What are the word What do the words mean, brother? I don't understand it. Because <clears throat> Flynn, the child, wanted me to hold his hand and not his. Like, wh why have you brought this up then? Just a private matter that happened between two people, and you're talking about it in like a viewers group chat. View like, this. So fucking bizarre, isn't it? But after this video was posted, Adam McIntyre obviously saw the video, who is an adult now. And I can imagine he was very relieved that what he said when he was younger, that no one believed at the time, has been proved kind of correct, right? More and more people are coming out saying very similar stuff. And he's even made an updated video on this whole situation yeah, and going into more details too. about how inappropriate Colleen Ballinger was with her viewers. I wrote in the group chat and was like, and by the way, by the look at this, Adam. Adam, you need questions for your QA? Are you a virgin? And then she goes on. This is Colleen in a group chat she goes with on. children. They're called the Weenies. She goes, Adam, do you need questions chat. for your Q&A? The Where Weenies. Where my friends would be like, you know, wow, what's your opinion on the song or something. So she goes, are you a virgin? If you're in the Colleen Bonjour fandom, you know like 15. about this group. 15. Whoa. What were you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's inappropriate. What a stupid thing to say. I wonder if she felt okay to say that because she thought that Adam was gay. Like, or new, right? Because I think he, that's not insulting, right? I'm right about that, I think. Let's hope. And maybe in her deluded little silly brain, she's like, well, he's gay, so it's okay to ask these really, like, it's an inappropriate question. I don't know, man. What an idiot. She's just a dumb person. I don't think anything predatory is going on. I think that she's just kind of a silly goose. I think that she's kind of a silly little goose, a little goosey boy. Little silly goose. Fucking, I didn't know he was that young. Okay, I thought he was like seventeen or something, but fifteen. Like fucking hell, man. And she asked me Oi, what my baby. favorite sex position is. What? What? Oi, well, wait, what is it? <laughs> Listen, to be honest with you, no, all jokes aside, missionary gets too much heat. It is the best. It is. It is the best position. It's an. It's like underrated. Oh, it's boring. It's the best. It's the least effort. You can get you can get a lot of done with that variation, especially. It's a pretty solid banger. It's a Colleen bang bangager, if you think about it. Um, it's incredible stuff. Um, no, no, what does slagging off means? What did you mean? What's in front of me? What does slagging off mean? Insulting and ah, critical, uh, an insulting and critical attack. Incredible stuff. That doesn't validate any of the stories that she would be talking openly about her sex with her ex-husband to me. It's an interesting tan you got to Yeah, there. I mean, this is ridiculously disturbing, isn't it? How are I, you asking? Not really disturbing. Just like super like dumb and inappropriate for sure. But I wouldn't go as far as say disturbing. Um, uh, disturbing are the sounds that come out of me after I have a good spam sandwich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it sounds like uh, a crocodile in the sewer. A 15 year old, apparently, that's what Adam said, right? He was 15. How are you asking a 15 year old what their favorite sex position is and yeah. if they're a virgin and yeah. all this stuff? Like, that is never an okay uh, conversation to uh, have. But it gets virgin. even worse because we have more screenshots here from the group chat where Adam, who was underage at the time, is saying, yeah. My ass looks so good today, y'all. To which Colin Ballinger replies, Hicks, Adam. Yeah, I mean, how much more proof do you need <laughs> that Colleen was doing this on a. What a fucking idiot, dude. Did she really say that? Re <laughs> what a dumbass picks adam why is she so stupid come on dude what are you doing you're impossible to defend you're impossible to defend why would you even say did she ever explain why she said that like it was just like a silly lol joke um it's just uh just uh just some a series of just inappropriate silly goose all right all right bro you're gonna mess with me that this hard looks so good today y'all to which colin ballinger replies incredible stuff 
Yeah, I mean, incredible. How much more Co- I'll send you, you pics, Colleen. Colleen was doing this on a regular basis. Adam even says in the tweet here that he was around 14, 15 at the time, and most people in the chat were a similar age. Colleen Whoa. would just kind of like ask people for pics, it seems. I don't care if she was joking. You can't be joking with a child like that. But what's even more mental to me is that there's still people that are trying to defend Colleen for these oh, actions. Whatever. I mean, here we have someone quote retweeting the fact that Adam like uploaded this new updated video, and they said, Colleen Ballinger already clocked you and your lies years ago. Can't stand oh. a hungry cloud chaser trying to ruin the life of a successful. And it's a Barbie saying it? Oh, you were not shit. traumatized. You were just hungry. What up, Carla? Attention. Like, what an awful, doing, awful take. I think because Colleen has, like, this very close relationship with her viewers where she will to talk to them about anything, it seems, these people really do believe they're friends with Colleen, which will make them defend her, like, for fucking dear life by the looks of it. Yeah, how are you going to say to someone that you are not traumatized when, first of all, you have no idea how they feel? But secondly, he's talking about how a grown woman was asking, like, ass pics and, like, asking what's favorite sex position. Have we ever seen aspects of Colleen? I'm curious. I'm just wondering for research purposes. Well, you know? when he was, like, 14 and 15 years old. Like, how can you possibly defend that? I mean, we have Yo, a great response up, here from dude? Paige Christie who says, he was a child and she was inappropriate. A what grown woman up, cried dude? to him about her marriage and then sent him underwear. If Adam was straight, y'all would have called that grooming. It's got to be crack at this point. But as much as there is a few people still trying to defend- I don't even think it, if it has anything to do with Adam being straight. Um, I mean, maybe. Like, if she did know that, then, like, it does give her, like, oh, I didn't think that he would- If she does know that he's gay, it does definitely change it a little bit. Um, because she's think even though it's inappropriate, she's like, oh, well, you know, he's gay. Um, so, like, he's not- it's not- it's not inappropriate because, I like, we wouldn't be interested in each other. Um, for sure. But I think that if she was a guy, I think she'd get a lot more shit. And, you know, in, in, in women's defense, men tend to be a lot more disgusting in this department. But that being said, man, like if it was somebody else, you know, you know, if, if it was, let's just say, for instance, it was somebody dating a 20 year old at like 40, you know, Ethan Klein would be calling that person a pedophile. You know, what I mean? you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so, um, you know, what's going on here, Ethan? We're, come on, go after Colleen. What's going on? Where the papa butt got pics for research purposes? I'll think about it. A gay guy told me that I should make an OnlyFans and he'd be very into it. So I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Colleen, it seems like a lot of her viewers have turned on her, and we can see that just from the comments on her most recent video. Leaking a minor's information to dozens of people and getting them to drag his name through the ground just to protect your name is truly disgusting. Yeah, I mean, when you bear a thing in mind, you almost forget about the fact that Colleen was literally going to other young viewers and trying to get them to turn. I saw a videotape from Mr. President from 2021 calling you a fence sitter and ended the video by saying, by the way, try harassing someone that does the trick when you talk about daniel larson <laughs> on one of her younger what? viewers and even send like screenshots of their conversation which is awful but you almost forget that right you about the other stuff that's even worse the fact she doesn't make a public statement about her inappropriate behavior towards her fandom <laughs> sus as fuck it's honestly just making you look bad sis if she posts a video explaining everything then this is how it'll go she will just cry say that she has made mistakes in the past and continue to change story and facts again and manipulate per usual such an awful awful situation and i don't understand what she was thinking in the single slightest but Maybe one thing i am happy about is that adam kind of got a bunch of relief from this right because so many people went at him calling him a liar and going against him for You're so long liar. because the video just explained his side of the story and now people understand that he was right all along and i can't imagine how good that feeling actually is but yeah i would love yeah. to know your opinions on the situation down below hopefully we will hear a response from colin ballinger at some point will it be good no idea but um yeah obviously if she does respond we'll probably cover it here so if you did enjoy please leave a like down below subscribe if you are new also subscribe to adam and cody rants and if people mentioned this video and uh yeah until Damn. the next one i'll see you guys in a bit all right, all right good bye okay well you know i think after that so what a weird thing to do colin colleen why would you do that? You know, it's just a, it's just a, a, it's a, it's a bit of silly goosery from you, girl. So, um, all this my talking to her own husband. I thought that it was her ex. Ah, whatever. I don't know. Who cares? It's, it's my, it could be my balls for all we really know. So, ah, we own the night. You like that? You like that?